Okay, welcome to uh, this first part of this tutorial series. In this video I am, as usual, just going to briefly demonstrate what we're going to make, which is going to be a template system. What I mean by a template system is, um, well, I'll just demonstrate as we go along. Uh, here, you see here we have sort of a very basic um, HTML sort of styled page, um, and we have these two pages. You can click on, for example, the news button in the navigation bar, um, and this get variable in the URL changes for the page get page variable. Um, yeah, the page get variable, sorry, uh, changes from what we was before, which was home to news, and the news page displays. Uh, similarly, I can click on home, it changes back to home, and we get this, which is um, the result of print underscore r on the get array dollar underscore uh, underscore dollar sign underscore get array php variable. Um, the reason this is always a good idea to do is that you can design this whole page, this index.php file, which uh, you see if I go here, um, this index.php file, you can design the whole site uh, in that file, all the CSS, HTML, blah blah blah, that sort of thing, and then you just sort of include um, one area which changes when you click on a button, and then you design that in your sort of other page files. Um, for example, what we, mm, well, we have these two pages, these two files which make the pages. If I just open, show you the news page, all we have here is the code for, all the only code we have for the news page is this text that just says this is the news page. So, um, so all this other stuff is added by index.php. Um, and obviously you could have whatever you wanted in here. You'd obviously get actually get some news, presumably, for this page. So yeah, uh, this is usually sort of the um, design of the sites that I usually make. I usually follow this sort of style pattern. It's more efficient than um, sort of a full template system where you have actual template files um, because they usually involve a huge amount of string manipulation and regular expression replaces. So both of those things are quite slow in PHP. Um, so I think it's going to actually be quite a short tutorial. Might even get through it in one video. Um, there's a little bit to talk about. Um, one thing you might have noticed is that when I um, removed the um, get variable, it sort of reappears. We get redirected back to this sort of default landing page if uh, the page is invalid, or well, if the page is not supplied. If the page is invalid, so if I just type in some numbers, you see we just get um, the home page still. This is the same um, code, the same page, the same file, sorry, being included as when we just clicked on home. The only reason this changes is because we're using the get array directly for this output. So, not a page will show up just as that, although we're still including the home.php file. Um, reason for that is just don't know, personal choice really. You can have it do whatever, you can have it redirect uh, if this page is not in the um, folder. So yeah, that's um, pretty much it really. Um, we're going to be using the same sort of structure as in my other tutorials. We're going to have a index page, which is the one the one that creates all this sort of, I'm going to say nice, it's not nice, is it? Sort of design um, of the page, uh, and then we're going to have an init.inc.php file which will be located in a core folder, um, which will sort of, well, it'll do that redirect for one thing, it'll validate the page you've supplied. Um, we might even mention HG access rules or something. Um, for example, instead of this sort of whole chunk here, you could just have it as home like that, and it'd sort of take you to the home page. Obviously, at the moment, that just gives a 404 error but we might cover that a little bit later. Pretty URLs it's called. There's not really any reason to do it other than it makes the address bar look a little bit nicer. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully you'll join me in the next part where we'll code this system.